A little girl was dying because she was born without a windpipe. So doctors made her a new one in a lab. That's right, science. I'm Anthony, and two-year-old Hannah Warren was born without a trachea. She couldn't eat or drink or swallow on her own. She spent her whole life with a breathing tube in her mouth. She wasn't expected to live to be six years old, and it was not going to be much of a life. So enter amazing experimental medical procedures. This Italian doctor and a US pediatric surgeon from the Children's Hospital of Illinois decided to try regenerative medicine on her. So first, they build a plastic scaffold in the shape of a trachea. Then they grab some stem cells from Hannah's hip. You put the stem cells onto the plastic mold, and in just a week, they turn into a trachea. They implanted it into Hannah's throat in a nine hour surgery, and it looks like it took. What's particularly great about this kind of implant is that because it's made of Hannah's own cells, her body won't reject it. It was made to be a part of her. She's still on a ventilator, but she should be off it soon, and ready to go home for the first time in her life. This is amazing, and a lot of amazing experimentation in regenerative medicine has been done lately. You might have read a couple weeks back about this experiment that fully rebuilt a rat's kidney using a similar process. So basically, one rat's kidney is scrubbed of all its cells and stuff except for the connective tissue that makes up the structure of the kidney. Then, stem cells from another rat are placed onto that structure and they grow into a full organ again. That organ is placed into the stem cell donor rat and it just works. In the future, this could mean that anyone can be an organ donor for someone who needs a transplant without having to be a close genetic match or worrying about eventual organ rejection or failure. But for right now, all this stuff is experimental. The rebuilt kidney, the rat one, only works around 15% efficiency. So it's not an everyday thing. Even Hannah's trachea procedure is considered experimental. The only reason the FDA allowed it is because she was expected to die. But with continued work and clinical trials, a story like Hannah's is gonna go from being a crazy miracle into a common everyday procedure. Can you even imagine how that's going to change things? We're talking about any missing or malfunctioning part of the body being safely and quickly replaceable. Even the process of watching stem cells turn into an imperfect organ or imperfect nerves or bones or muscles teaches scientists so much about how those body parts work. I'm kind of in love with stem cells, you guys. Confess your feelings for stem cells down below and subscribe for more D News. <laughs>